Hi there. It's been a few days since I've done a video. I've been very, very busy on the home front and the business front. And I did want to do this really quick video. Hopefully it'll be quick. Sometimes when I say it's going to be quick, it's not going to be quick. It's going to take me longer than I think. But anyway, I know that organizing our time and our um, our creative flow is very important because, you know, time is money. The quicker we can put together our packets and our products, then the better it is all the way around. Uh, we make more money. We can move on to the next project. So I, in, I'm inside Canva. And of course, I use Artistly, so I've um, been creating some packs, and I want to just show you because I'm going to be pulling in some of my um, my art that I just created using um, Artistly. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know what Artistly is, there's a link um, to the AI program that I use. It's a one-time fee for a lifetime right now so uh, my affiliate link is down in the bottom and you can also watch any of my videos that tell you more about it it's just a super program but for now we're going to sort of combine those things i've created the artwork and now i want to upload it into canva to work with okay so i have my brand template here we've uh, i've done videos on creating those in um canva so that it it speeds up your workflow and using them but i had a problem okay when you upload files they kind of go all go in here well as you can see i have tons and tons and tons of images here and it was very confusing to then go back and sometimes keep them apart so i'm going to show you a little strategy here and some of you may be doing this and if you are then fine you already knew it and i'm so happy for you use it it's a great idea this is basically for those people that just haven't really thought about it or discovered it yet. Now, I have used folders for quite some time, but it never occurred to me to initially, instead of uploading it into this main thing here, to actually go under my project. So I'm using my projects file, um, this little thing right here. I'm using this a whole lot more lately because it just makes things simpler and it it takes out several steps because if you upload into the upload here then you have to move these into folders and so this is going to immediately help you streamline and cut out some of those steps and it's also going to make it a little bit easier for you to keep things separated um, so when you're working with clip art a lot of times things begin to start looking the same even if they're little like i did ballerinas and they're all different but pulling them in from the uploads and 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 all of that sometimes it, it you know it is a very tedious type um task and because it is then sometimes you know your eyes get tired and you want to make sure you're not duplicating those and you're not having to go back and double check a bazillion times just to make sure you're not missing a piece of clip art that you want in the pack and having another one in there three times but so this just helps to kind of um like i said streamline the process and so this is what we're going to do i'm going to start with what i have to pull in and just since I'm doing it anyway, we're going to go into the projects. I'm going to go into the create folder. And this is a transportation pack. Clip art pack. Okay. I'm going to name it that. Okay. So now I have this transportation clip art pack. I'm going to open that up. The folder's empty. But it's going to give me an option to select my files. I'm going to go into my downloads where I just downloaded these. And I'm going to drag all of those in there at the same time. These are just the first images I'm going to work with, okay? And I'm not going to break down these in the video because I've done that, you know, in several other videos. So I'm not going to do that in this one. We're just going to be working on putting them into files. So I'm going to give you an idea about how you can also structure. So we have the initial ones that we've pulled in. I haven't removed backgrounds or done anything with these files right now. 
So normally what I would do is, I'll, and I'll show you with one, I'm, I would start with this one. And then I'm going to edit this photo. I'm going to take the background off. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to separate it out, you know, by removing, you know. Normally I would, I'm just doing this to show you, but so now I have this image and I would have made copies so that I wouldn't have to, I would already have the background removed. I just wanted to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this particular image now has the background removed, okay? So then what we can do is, um, you know, when we go to download, you know, we can download them um, from our, over here we can download this image and I'll just go ahead and do it with a transparent background, okay? Um, I wouldn't do this. I would do it like this. And then we're going to download this one image. Now, there is a way, and I'm still working on how to showcase that, where you can move them within things. But if we just wanted to do them like that, um, we can do it like that. Um, Okay, so over here we're back to the folders, and this is going to give us an option inside the transportation folder to go ahead and create a new folder. So we're going to name that one small PNGs because I use those. I make a copy so that they're small and not real, real large. They're not, they don't have to be the best quality when I'm doing my actual creating my listing. Um, product photos and everything. So we're going to create this inside. We're going to go back to the transportation folder and now we're going to see that up here we have another folder inside that transportation pack. We're going to open it and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go over here and we're going to pull this one in. So now we have that little PNG in there just in that one. So normally what I would do is I would do all of the images I would download it into one folder with all of the little small transparent ones. And then what I would do is I would re-upload it back in here. So anyway, I think you can, you can see from this particular um, tutorial just how easy it is to now be much more organized with your clip art and how much easier it is for you to keep everything um, to do with one clip art pack in a Canva folder rather than in the uploads um, area because this way you're not competing with all these previous um, images you're just going over into your projects and you're exclusively you have less to look at um, it's easier to drag these, you know, you just open the small PNGs and then you pull up what you want to pull them into. And um, for instance, mine, what I would be doing is um, I would be, you know, creating a guide here. Let's see if I can go to the brand template. Yeah, let's open this one up and I'll just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So it makes it so much easier when this is one I've already done and I just made a, you know, I use the template. So um, but like here, see, I need those little small ones. So instead of going to the uploads to see and get it, grab one, I'm going to go to projects. I'm going to go to my transportation. I'm going to go to the small PNGs and then I can drag that right in. And there you go. So it makes it, if I had all of them in here, I'd just grab them and they would all be so much easier for me to come up with. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed um, the video and, you know, if there's any questions you have, just leave them in the comments and uh, I'll see you next time.